Good morning, America. Hope everybody's having a blessed day. If not, lift it up. Hope it gets better. We're sitting here waiting for the impeachment circus to continue. I I doubt it'll happen, but I, I would laugh till I just about peed myself if they don't get the vote they need and the Democrats grow a conscience overnight. Otherwise, they are the biggest batch of liars. I mean, I watched it, what? I think Wednesday was the longest day, 11 hours. Uh, then yesterday was actually 12, and I caught all but the end, and I caught this this morning, and that kind of blew me away. The end of last night's session, Adler out of the middle of nowhere. Now, everybody thinks you're going to vote and go home for the holidays. Now they're out of the middle of nowhere, about 11 and a half hours into this deal. Says, that's it for the meeting. Today is closed and adjourned. I will open tomorrow morning at 10 a.m. And I will introduce both bills for each parties to address whether they want to vote one way or the other for bills of impeachment. Bam! Goes down the hammer. Collins is like, whoa, 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 wait a second here. What are you talking about? You just rearranged everybody's calendar. We're supposed to vote and leave. And you just kept us here another day. You didn't consult with me. You didn't take a vote. You just rearranged everybody's calendar. He got so upset. Well, the Demo or not the Democrats and Republicans on all their mics started chiming in about Hitler and Stalin. Because and, it's been a farce right from the very start. And now Madler... Uh, dozing off Nadler. It's been so boring he was falling asleep during this. And that was the same day I fell asleep about six hours in. So now I don't feel so guilty once I found out that right about a half hour after I fell asleep, Jerry Nadler started falling asleep. So it's been boring, folks. I mean, if I had to do it for pay, you don't want to know what I'd want for sitting through the garbage. I had to sit and listen to the lies and the lies and the lies and the lies and the lies. And I kept hearing lies that uh, Schiff told during the open sessions to the public, and they're reiterating it, hoping that if they tell the same lie long enough and enough times, that the people will start believing it. Well, I'm not stupid. I'm not a baby killer. I don't believe in abortion. Okay? Um... Uh, these guys are idiots. They're so far off the left communist socialists that they're morons. I can't even... They make me sick to my stomach. I'm glad today's the last day. And then we get over to a real process and they can see how justice is decided. Fairly. So, non-partisan-wise. Okay, not like what they're doing. This is, they're trying to derail a sitting president that was voted in by 60 million Americans. What they don't understand is they're trying to derail the Trump train. And it ain't happening. Not on our watch. So I'll get back on tonight. Let everybody know, sum this thing up, wrap up. Uh, Soros' puppet show. Head puppet master Pinocchio himself. There, shifty shift. Pedophile shift. Um, and I keep looking for something good in that guy. I just can't find a thing. I'd like to, you know, just so I could say one nice thing about him, but I really can't. He lies so much. Every time he opens his mouth is a lie. I heard five different congressmen and congresswomen repeat the lie that uh, Trump asked before he released the funds, he wanted CNN to do an interview with him publicly so he could announce he was investigating the Bidens. Now, Shift, when you tell a lie like this, and I heard it, and I put it on my podcast about six weeks ago, when you hear a lie like this, if you're a thinker a little bit, and I crunch numbers, I've been in the gold and silver business good, good long time, so I do numbers. And, you know, this this guy Shift, he says, he wants a sit-down announced with CNN. No, Shift, CNN is your news network. Anybody that knows anything about our president 
knows that he loves Fox and he hates CNN, calls them fake news. <laughs> CNN is the Christian, or not Christian, but Clinton News Network. That's what CNN stands for. And nobody with a brain likes the Clintons, so what can I say? They got a murder list that's longer than my arms. I think it's up to 70 or 72 now. People that committed suicide, shooting themselves twice in the back of the head with a shotgun, stuff like that. There's two or three of those. I have one of the girls posted. That was back before abortion was legal, so when she was seven months pregnant, she committed suicide by shooting herself twice in the back of the head. No autopsy was done. Yeah. Okay, Mr. Clinton, Billy Boy. But he was a good president. Didn't They didn't remove him. They impeached him. They fined him. They took away his ability to ever practice law. Fined him $850,000 for lying. And, you know, for rape. He was not a nice guy. They should have went after him on the murder charges and the mysterious suicides. But I think they were afraid to. That's how deep that swamp goes. And that's been around since the Clintons. And I think the globalist Bush either didn't know or was too stupid or was too afraid to try to tackle it. We got a guy now that not only tackles the swamp, he tackles China. He don't care who you are. All right? And he fights for Americans. He's not a Republican. He's not a Democrat. He's a patriot. He wants to make America great again. He's been doing a heck of a good job at it. I want to see him keep going. I'll get back on tonight. In the meantime, you guys have a blessed day. Don't forget to pray for our president. God bless America, our president, and everybody that voted for him. Or is going to in 2020. Oh, yeah, that's right. Like, share, and subscribe. And uh, get this out to other people so that we can spread the word. You're going to see there's going to be an overwhelming thrust at getting him reelected so that we can get Roe versus Wade overturned. I just, there's... They're, we're killing a thousand babies a day, uh, a thousand black babies a day. It, it just it makes me sick to my stomach, and nobody's saying a thing about it. It's not okay. It's not okay. It's not okay. All right. It's not okay. Period. Wow. Sorry. That's my hot button. So if you're a baby killer, me and you, we got something to talk about. Thus. Decision making 2020. Because when we go to the polls, we're voting for God or Satan. Don't forget that. All the Republicans are voting for God. I'll let you decide. Have a blessed day. Maybe we'll see you later. Bye for now.